Have you ever dreamt about a racing series held entirely on ice? Then you need to know about the Andros Trophy. Essentially, the Andros Trophy is a rallycross championship entirely held on ice. The national championship is held in France between December and January. Although some rounds have also been held in Andorra and even in a certain North American country. Since 1990, the year of its inception, the Andros Trophy has had some prestigious contenders coming from the world of rally and rally cross alike, but also from circuit racing. Most notably, Alain Prost, the Formula One world champion, has won the event multiple times. Hi, my name is Carl, and today we're racing on ice. Here we are then, at the start of our very own round of the Andros Trophy. We're in Project Cars 2 to simulate this awesome race. And away we go on this ice track here. I'm going to concentrate a little bit at the start and then I'm going to explain you all about the challenge of racing on ice in Project Cars 2. Honestly, this game gets a lot of critics, but it's probably the best simulation of ice driving that I felt. Or at least this kind of ice driving is not well represented, so there's not a lot of competition. But it does work pretty well for what we're trying to do today. This track is a fictitious track, I believe. Or somewhat fictitious track created by Slightly Mad Studio Studios. It is based in Canada. And funnily enough, the Andros Trophy actually held a round in Canada for a couple of years. So it's actually quite fitting that we're racing in Canada today. Unfortunately, I tried racing, um, well, road cars on this, like the BMW M1 that was used in some rounds of the Andros Trophy. But this game can be very on or off with the physics and with the BMW it just didn't work. So back in the past, if you didn't know, the Andros Trophy used slightly modified road cars that different teams could bring in. But today, the Andros Trophy is almost entirely made up of electric engines, apart from some motorcycles, I believe. And so it's a very different experience from what we are doing today, but these little rallycross light cars just felt so good. And, um, and they do bring in the spirits of, of these little cars that are normally used for the Andros Trophy pretty well. So that's what we're doing today. Now, believe it or not, the Andros Trophy is actually very unique in the motorsport world. And that's maybe why it's there's so little representation of, of ice driving racing in sim racing games i don't know why because honestly racing on ice is pretty fun now yes you have the uh the swedish and finnish rallies on ice and snow but even in scandinavian countries there's no like ice driving championship like the andros trophy because this is much more based on short circuit races. By the way, normally the Andros Trophy runs about six lap races, six lap rounds. A bit like in, uh, in Rallycross, really. There's a lot of uh, similarities between the, the Andros Trophy and Rallycross. So you can really imagine the Andros Trophy a bit like a uh, Rallycross championship, but run entirely on ice, like I said in the intro. And I need to watch out because behind me some cars are getting much more closer. So today we're running actually a race that is much longer than what the real life events normally are. I think that's the first on the channel extending a race longer than, than what, what it would normally be. 
Anyway, racing on ice brings a lot of challenge with it. And as you can see, I'm struggling a little bit. <laughs> it's getting caught up by, uh, by my explanation about this awesome event that I really wanted to, uh, to bring more attention to. One of the challenges with driving on ice is, of course, the, uh, the lower amount of grip you have. And this brings a lot of understeer into all the corners. You can see I really struggle to get the car turned in. Now, of course, you could try and drift a little more, but drifting is going to slow you down. And it's also going to cost you a lot of track or space. And you really don't want to lose any track space because making the circuit longer it's going to cost you more and more time. As you can see there, going wide into the first corner almost cost me my place. I know it's possible to uh, kind of slow the car down a little bit later by, uh, by trying to drift the car about. Maybe I can try and do it in the first corner. So let's drift to that direction and then bring it back to the other direction. It kind of worked, but I feel like the AI still gained a lot on us. So maybe I'm just... Uh, imagining things only two more laps to go before the end of this race and i'm having a lot of fun i can tell you guys there should be more developers putting ice racing in uh, racing games and if you look back at some of my uh, videos that i've made recently i've had a lot of fun driving on ice it's the season for it so i'm, I'm making most out of it um, you should definitely check out the rally video we made in uh, the snow and then the, the video in Assetto Corsa to turn Assetto Corsa into a real snow and ice driving simulator. Last corner here, all holding a very wide line. Are we gonna lose our second position? It looks like it, although no, just about we managed to stay in front there. Absolutely stunning stuff. Yeah, well, the Andros Trophy, I hope I convinced you that this kind of racing is really, really nice. Now, normally it's run in uh, December and January, so uh, I'm a little bit late to really promote this event, but uh, you should definitely give it a go to try and, uh, and race a bit on ice or, uh, or just go watch the event. I believe some of the rounds are on YouTube, so uh, a lot of fun. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, and I'll see you space races in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you.